Good morning, Santa Margarita, and welcome to Eagle TV 2.0. I'm your host, Ryan Marks. And I'm Paylene Ansari. Before we get started, we wanted to bring you an update on Hurricane Harvey, which has devastated the Gulf Coast of Texas for the past three days. So far, the system has dumped 51 inches of rain on parts of southeastern Texas and now it moves inland to bring the same downpours to Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee, and parts of Missouri. Harvey has been a record storm to hit the United States as it continues into the next few days. Thousands have been rescued, but sadly, 30 people have lost their lives. We ask that all of you keep the people of Texas and everyone in the storm's path in your prayers. Now to some announcements. Attention Link Crew leaders, there's a Link Crew meeting this coming Thursday at 8.30 a.m. in the Science Lecture Hall. And please wear your Link Crew shirts. And attention all basketball fans. If you are interested in being a student manager on the boys basketball team, please see Coach DeFilippo by the end of this week. You know, we have a ton of students here at SM, and a major part of how that happened was through our shadow program here on campus. To become a shadow host is not only being a great ambassador for our school, it's also a lot of fun. So let's get a quick look at the program. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Blanc, I'm the admissions director here at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. And my role is to welcome the newest generation of students to Santa Margarita. And to do that, I need your help. Um, if you remember being a student in the eighth grade and shadowing here at Santa Margarita, we're looking for students to be the host students for this year's group of shadow students. We actually have a couple of students here that would like to share their experiences. I would definitely say the main reason that I started um, and really wanted to become involved in the Shadow Leader program was because I had an incredible shadow experience when I was in eighth grade at SM. Um, it's, it was one of the major deciding factors in for, in for me in choosing exactly where I wanted to go to high school. I would definitely say one of the most rewarding experiences is actually after when now I'm, as a sophomore, I'm seeing all of, like their, the, their smiling faces as freshmen and kind of being able to now be like their big brother, sister on campus. So I've really enjoyed um, my experience with it and I enjoy seeing all, their, um, all the shadows that I've had, their faces on campus. Hey guys, I'm Blake Nemi. I'm a sophomore here at San Margarita High School and today I'm here to talk to you guys about being a shadow leader. So last year I was a shadow leader and uh, as a freshman and it was a really cool experience. Um, some of the things that we do is we call home the night before, let them know where uh, let the parents know where their children are going to be coming, spending the day, and who they're shadowing. Um, you pick them up in the morning, you bring them to their classes, or your classes, and then you uh, have lunch with them. And uh, so it's a really cool experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's really cool to see all like your previous shadows come and on campus, and you get to say hey and what's up to them and see how they're liking it. So I really encourage it, and uh, go Eagles. So if you're interested in being a shadow host leader, please pick up an application which your religion teachers are gonna have in your freshman religion classes. We also still need sophomores and juniors to be hosts as well. So please pick up an application for the missions office. And for everyone, please turn in your applications before September 7th, and we'd love to have you a part of the program. So thank you so much and have a great year. You guys, I completely re recommend doing it because I was a host my freshman year and I loved it and I love seeing my shadows now here at SM. So don't forget to turn in those uh, papers before the deadline if you want to be a host this year. And switching gears to the pool side, I know that all of us would love to be at the pool this week because of how hot it's been. And so we had boys water polo taking on the breakers of Laguna Beach. It was a great game, so let's see some of their awesome highlights. It was over 100 degrees at Santa Margarita for the first water polo game of the season as the Laguna Beach breakers took on the Santa Margarita Eagles. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Higgins and welcome to Santa Margarita. One year ago, it was a CIF banner year for the Eagles as they were CIF champs. Chase Peterson looks like one right there for the first goal of the year, one to nothing. From pool level, you can see how quick his release is. Into the back of the net, the Eagles led one to nothing. Jake Marquez gets a nice goal of his own from outside. This would make it three to one in the second quarter, Eagles. Santa Margarita keeping the offensive pressure on. Al Rossman scores, that made it five to three in the third. Jacob Wright with a good defensive play here as he knocks the ball down. 
On offense, Jacob Wright touches the ball last on this great three-way pass into the back of the net, and the Eagles led 9-5, pulling away in the fourth quarter. A.J. Rossman would close out the scoring for the Eagles on this breakaway, 11-6, and that's the way the game would end, as the Eagles win it 11-6 over the Breakers. For Eagle TV 2.0, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Man, they're doing a great job. So I just want to congratulate them on their win. And also, congratulations to the girls' volleyball team for their victory over Marymount, winning three games to two. Sarah Sizik was on the fire with 15 kills, and Devin Chang had 53 assists. And another congratulations to the girls' golf team for their victory against Long Beach Wilson last Thursday. The Eagles shot a score of 199, and Riley Edwards medaled with a 36. And yesterday, the team brought home another victory against Crean Lutheran with Abrielle Wang scoring a 36 and Riley Edwards with a 39. Wow, congratulations goes out to all of you guys. Well done, Eagles. And one more quick thing before we go. A reminder that back to school night is tonight. So students, don't forget to tell your parents to come meet your teachers. And that wraps up, wraps up our show for today. Thanks for tuning in. And for Eagle TV 2.0, I'm Rai Rai. And I'm Pei Pei. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day SM. SM.